All right. No, wait. Sorry. Bring the GoPro. Bring the GoPro. Let's figure this out. There is a Maasai legend about three boys of long ago. As custom required, they were sent into the mountains for their adolescent rite of passage. But the boys were rebellious and their energy could not be contained, so they escaped into the night. Enraged, the elders cursed the boys, turning their skin into fur, twisting their limbs into legs and banishing them to roam endlessly in the wild as a pack. Ever since, they have been known as the African Wild Dogs. People hear the name African Wild Dog and assume that it's a domestic dog and has gone wild. And that's not the case at all. These are animals which only live in the wild. In fact, they're not really closely related to any other species. They're in their own genus. Wild dogs are one of the most social animals in the world. It's very uncommon to see just one wild dog. Everything they do, they do as a team. They hunt together, and by doing so, they're able to kill prey that are much larger than themselves. I run a project called the Samburu Laikipia Wild Dog Project, where we are trying to understand whether and how African wild dogs can coexist with people and their domestic animals. Globally, the most important threat to wild dogs is loss of habitat. Because wild dogs range very widely and always live at low density, that means that as the habitat gets broken up, wild dogs are one of the first species to disappear. They formerly lived across a vast swathes of Africa, but that habitat is getting fragmented. They disappeared from 93% of the area they used to live in. Wild dogs don't seem to get rabies in the same way that domestic dogs do. So when African wild dogs get rabies, they can't stand up properly, they stagger around, and then they die. And for many of the world's wild dog populations, which are small, there is a serious risk of extinction due to infectious diseases like rabies. So we've done a variety of different kinds of research on this problem. What we do is, again, working very closely with Kenya Wildlife Service and their vets, we dart wild dogs and fit VHF tracking radio collars to them. We can use our radio receivers to then go and find them. Whenever we dart a wild dog, we want to learn as much as we possibly can from that experience. We're using GPS collars that will record everywhere that dog has been and give us very, very detailed information on, on where wild dogs are going. We also collect a variety of samples. So the most important samples we collect are blood samples. We can screen that blood for antibodies to diseases like canine distemper, parvovirus and rabies. And that tells us whether that dog has in its history been exposed to that virus. One day in Christmas 1999, I was just driving along and three wild dogs jumped out of a bush in front of my car. I knew then that there must be a source of wild dogs somewhere nearby and that perhaps, perhaps there was some chance that they would come back. The first den of wild dogs in Laikipia was in the year 2000. And by about the year 2007, the population had grown large enough. There was about 30 packs of wild dogs and about 300 dogs in total. And that makes it the sixth biggest African wild dog population in the world, which has come back naturally from zero. When we started the project, we thought that it was going to be much more challenging than it was. But because of the way that the landscape is managed, because of the way the livestock are managed here, we've seen this incredible success story. And I think that provides inspiration. Not only do we know that it's possible, we know how it's possible. So we can provide guidance to communities, to governments, to NGOs, to other decision makers elsewhere in Africa on how to foster coexistence of people and wild dogs without them coming into conflict. And I think that is our biggest success on this project. While the lost boys of Laikipia have returned home, their future remains at risk. But hopefully those wild dogs will run free 
and in harmony with the people at last. <laughs>